This is a patient who came in with acute left-sided pelvic pain, got an ultrasound suggesting an abnormality in the left ovary, for which an MRI was suggested for further evaluation. As you scroll down, we can see that the uterus looks okay, the bladder looks okay as well, and the right ovary looks within normal limits with multiple physiologic follicles, probably an involute and corpus luteum over here on the right side. However, the left ovary looks abnormal. You can see that it is enlarged compared to the right. You can see that it has very heterogeneous T2 signal within the stroma, uh, looks intermediate, it looks hypo-intense as well, and it also looks like it's sort of placed right posteriorly to the uterus, almost like it's displaced from its natural position uh, more on the left side. And so that in and of itself is concerning for torsion, just that look itself. We give uh, contrast in this patient, we can see that the right ovary looks pretty okay, enhances uh, you know normally, while the left ovary is very, very abnormal. We can start to appreciate how it's sort of positioned posteriorly to the uterus, there are areas that have essentially no enhancement and other areas that have very, very low level enhancement. We can start to see along this side over here that that's probably the uh, nexal vessels and the vascular pedicle that's coming downwards. And we all start to appreciate that it may be a little bit twisted and torsed as it comes downwards. We can appreciate that twist, I think, best on these post-contrast sequences. And so all these findings are highly, highly concerning for ovarian torsion. There's probably areas of infarction as well in this patient. The patient went to the operating room. Indeed, the ovary was torsed, and they managed to detorse it and salvage the left ovary uh, for this patient.